Hi there. Um, quick little video um, using Ultimate FPS. I'm also using this MyFG weapon pack. Um, the one I'm going to use is there is a free one, uh, which only contains uh, these swords. So I'm just going to use one of the swords, this one right here. So, um, first thing you want to do is you, um, so I'm using the advanced player, which is in the base uh, content prefabs uh, players. So I just grab this advanced player. Um, right here. Um, I've already imported the uh, weapon models and you'll see in the sword folder that there's a few different ones. Um, they don't have the normal maps but they still look alright uh, for game. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand out the advanced player, expand out the camera, and I'm going to copy this mace. So, Control D, and then I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it Five Sword. Actually, I'm going to call it Sword 06 because there's a bunch of different swords, and this way I won't get confused. Um, so, we are going to duplicate. If you click on the um, VPFP weapon script, look under rendering. If you single click this mace, it'll show you where it's at. So I'm going to pull this into my scene. Right there. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call this Sword 06. There's a bunch of different swords and I just want to give it the uh, same name as a sword so I know which is what. So I've got this uh, weapons folder, so I'm going to drag my sword 06 into the prefabs. Um, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to find it, so it's right here. I am going to grab the sword 06, which is this one, uh, make it a child. And then I just need to position it. So I'm going to line it up similar to where the um, mace is at. That way I don't have to change a whole lot of things. All I have to do is use the setup for the mace, which actually works really well. Um, I like the way the mace, um, how the swings are and everything else. So basically, you just need to line it up however you like it. That actually looks good enough for me. Um, on the mesh, so this is where the mace is. So if you look under the mesh render uh, materials, so you see there's an arm and there's a mace. So I'm going to change this to one and the mace is going to disappear. Um, for the sword itself, I changed the shader to uh, reflective specular. And then uh, for the cube map, I just grabbed the mace cube map. And then these colors, I um, duplicated what the mace was. So I just copied it and saved it as a, uh, a preset so that I could just paste it here. Um, so now that I have that set up, I am going to apply the changes uh, so I can actually uh, delete this out of the scene now. 
and then for here where it says um, under the weapon prefab, so that's the one we just created. I'm going to drag it right there. So now I'm going to go ahead and save my scene. I'm going to hit apply because this is, I want to set this up. Alright, so the next step that we need to do, we need to look at the inventory. And you will notice that there is a mace, and look at the mace, it says item. So we need to create one just like this because it's not a gun, it doesn't have ammo or anything else. So we are going to go to a UFPS, Wizards, Create Type, Item. Now I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call it Sword 06. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Okay, so I've got my new item. I'm going to rename it to Sword 06. And then the display name, I'm just going to change this to Sword. Um, you can put a description if you want. And then this inventory space, I'm going to put a 1. I don't have a 2D texture, um, but you could probably uh, make one using the sword itself uh, with Photoshop or something. Um, you'll notice on the mace, there's a, uh, they made an icon for it, and the other ones, there's one as well. So you could do a similar type of thing, look at this picture, and make one for the sword. Alright, so now that I've got my sword item, I go to advanced player, so inventory. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here in this item caps. So it says sword item cap is 10, I'm going to change it to 1, same as the mace. Um, I'm going to put it, so this section up here where it says item records, if you put things in there, this is um, the player is going to start off with this weapon. So I'm going to go ahead and put the mace in there as well, just so you can like, we can see both of them. All right. So I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to go ahead and save my scene again. And so now when I hit play. See, there's my sword. I just hit Q to just equip it. And then, let's see, weapon 4. So I hit the number 4. I've got my mace. See, they act, they act the same. And you can notice that, see if I turn around in the light, how the mace does. So if I change to the other one, you know, it kind of hits the shadows and stuff, and same on the arm. Um, and also, uh, when you die, the, uh, you'll still have the weapon. Um, where is that at? So I've got enabled. Let's go reset on respawn. So, alrighty. Um, so next, I'm going to do another video of uh, how to do a gun as well. So hopefully that helped. Uh, thanks a lot.